What's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Parma, Michigan, and I'm in Austin, Texas for a summer reading kickoff. Excited to hang out with kids in Austin and to hang out with some really cool authors. It's going to be amazing. But before we do that, we need to talk about this unbelievable 2018 young adult novel, Hearts Unbroken by Cynthia Lydic Smith. Are you ready? Let's go. I don't read a lot of young adult books. I teach fifth grade. I read books for my fifth graders. Uh, but my friend Lynn Urban was telling me about Cynthia Lydic Smith. I received a copy of Cynthia's book, so I moved it to the very top of my pile and I devoured this book. End of the school year and I still devoured it. It's that awesome. So this is a story about a girl named Louise Wolf who lives in a Kansas town and she is native and her boyfriend is a white guy, Cam, football player. And they're like going to do the prom and then like the day after prom does something and he says some things that are really inappropriate about natives and she dumps him over email. He doesn't take it very well. Uh, so now then we kind of fast forward a little bit to the next school year. Um, Luis joins the like the school paper, the hive, and there's this new kid, Joey, who joins the hive and they start kind of working together and... Uh, there's this crazy thing going on at the school where they're doing the Wizard of Oz play and um, Luis's brother is in it and what the, what the person in charge, the, the theater person chose to do was cast the best people for the roles regardless of their race. And so we have a black Dorothy, we have a native Tin Man and just like based on how good of an actor or actress they were that's how they were assigned roles and like the town is so man not the like a lot of the white people in the town are like super upset that they didn't traditionally cast this play uh and so that's like a big topic in the paper and like these people are doing like terrible things and leaving notes in their house and their locker and it's just awful like people struggle um, and we, it makes me sad. And it has also been thinking about like how important it is that we have books that help us to, um, learn a little bit about just kind of what it's like for someone who's not like us. Uh, and it was really, it was really timely to read something like this. And it is, um, I'm just, I don't know. It was a great book. Uh, I feel like we just need to make sure people read more because you really, I don't know how else you like develop that empathy um, that you can get from reading a lot of books. And I, I think like, it's just so important that we just help kids fall in love with reading because it will really change their lives through the stories that they can experience. Uh, and what, I also, what I also learned in this book was that the dude who wrote The Wizard of Oz is kind of a, a, a terrible human and like super racist and awful and so like these characters uh in this book who are not white who get these roles and they're like struggling with when they find out about that like do they even want to be in this play this book friends is one that you need to read it needs to be on your to read pile you need to pre-order it you need to experience the story you need to learn and feel you get the feels when you read this book it's really really good it's really like the last lines psh, 100% just magic. Anyways, I don't know what else to say about it other than I think this book needs to be in all of the high school classrooms around around the world. Uh, I think it's an important book. I think that it is a book that is going to have a big impact on a lot of people. Like it had an impact, it had a big impact on this 36 year old dude who lives in a teeny tiny town in Parma, Michigan. The impact it's going to have on kids. I think it's really important and I am thankful that books like this exist in the world and I'm thankful that you are taking the time to watch this and then order this book so that you can experience some of the same things that I experienced. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an awesome-tastic day. Happy, happy.